Welcome to Nuka World, America's favorite vacation destination. I'm Cappy. Eh. Oh, and I'm Bottle. And we're here to make sure you have F-U-N fun during your time at the park. A vacation that we a trip you won't forget. A park with every minimum acceptable safety standard that quench your thirst for adventure and Nuka Everybody, you're watching GameSpot.com. Alexa Wright and Scott here. We just got to play Gears of War 4's new Horde 3.0 mode yes. with a crash course from the man himself, Rod Ferguson. Now, that yeah. was amazing. He helped us out a lot. He guided us through. And it was nice that he was there because Horde mode has gotten way more sophisticated. I oh, mean, yeah. It feels a lot like uh, the Horde mode from Gears of War 2. So mm -hmm. you're still like kind of fortifying a position. It's, it hasn't become zombies mode or anything like that. Like, we're not running through a level. You're still in like a contained area and trying to hold off wave after wave of enemy, but it has gotten more sophisticated. Like, you can build all kinds of new defenses, you have clearly defined roles for each different uh, character that you can yeah. pick, which was, that's very new and very different, and it really forces teamwork, because man, like, if somebody's not doing their job, the whole team very clearly suffers. Yes, and uh, we I think we saw a little bit of that. I know our scout had a little bit of a tough time going and collecting yeah, all the can, so, you, can you explain the well, roles a little bit? So, so much of it seems to be about energy collection, like you need energy in order to build new defenses and buy new weapons and things like that, and you have your, your scout character gets double the amount of energy if anybody else if he picks up all of the energy icons mm -hmm. so that guy's role really is just run collect energy don't die everybody else is trying to support that character Uh, but then there's like the engineer who gets a deep discount on building anything, so he kind of needs to hang back and be repairing and building turrets and mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, there's a heavy class, there's a soldier class, and so I got to play the sniper class, which was a lot of fun, like all kinds of headshot bonuses and things like that. His job, at least the way I played it, was to just kind of follow the scout around the map and make sure that he didn't die. Mm -hmm. So again, it was really cool seeing how all of those different roles kind of slotted together to create a cohesive team. And we had Rod as our engineer, which was a double bonus because he knew exactly what what to buy and what to build yeah. when. Because there's also like there's a weapons locker, so if there's uh, you know if you go an entire round without dying during specific rounds, you'll get an airdrop, and that will usually contain like better weapons, and you can hang on to those and store them in weapon lockers and use them for later rounds. There's all kinds of new strategy that's just been added since uh, older Gears games. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, totally. I mean, it, again, it, it kind of captures the joy and the emergent craziness of Horde mode as we, we used to know it. I mean, I actually really like that they've walked back some of the stuff they added for, for Gears 3 and mm. have reverted to a much more classic version, but with all this new stuff layered on top. I would love to keep playing uh, with Rod. He was a great teammate. Totally. Good, good team leader. Way to go, Rod Ferguson. Thank you for keeping us alive. We appreciate it. Yeah, and for more news on PAX West and Gears of War 4, please stay tuned to GameSpot.com.